in today's video we're gonna be going over the top five best class setups that you should be using for season three of modern warfare 2. this is going to consist of guns that have been really good in the past some that have been updated for the season three update in the patch notes and also new weapons as well we're gonna be going over two assault rifles two smgs and one sniper yes the brand new fjx imperium intervention sniper rifle before we get into the classes if you guys enjoy this video find it helpful in any way shape or form make sure you guys leave a like subscribe to the channel for more modern warfare 2 class setups without further ado let's get into the top five best class setups for season three of modern warfare 2. now starting off here we're going to be showing off the fastest fjx imperium class that you should be using here for season three of modern warfare 2. this is the new sniper that was added for the season and yeah just showing it off here this is also with a scope added on too by the way the the ads time is actually insane with this gun and it basically one shots at just about any distance as well even at those longer distances you're not getting no damage fall off or anything let's get into the class setup now with this class setup i wanted to focus on ads time so for the first attachment we're using the field wrapped handle for the crouch movement speed and aim down sight speed really for the benefits of the ads time and then tuning for that negative 1.02 for sprint speed and plus 0.31 for aiming idle stability you could turn this down for aim walking speed but really you don't do a lot of like aim walking with snipers really you're just kind of in and out your scope really fast so i just turned up for the aiming auto stability next up is the bread and butter for most classes and most guns you should be using the vlk lzr7 mw laser the only downside is they actually nerfed this attachment the laser is much more visible now but really everybody's using lasers you're not really going to tell whose lasers is whose if it's your teammates or somebody else's so just throw in the vlk lzr7 mw laser and you'll be chilling turning for that negative 0.40 for sprint of fire speed and negative 36.19 for ads time next up is personal preference i did go with an optic for the sniper just because i feel like the optic that it comes with is super zoomed in and i just feel like it's just really not needed for most maps so i went with the choreo 13x vrs however if you think the optic is okay definitely throw on another attachment tuning for that is a negative 0.97 for ads time and really this should just be at zero i don't know why it's at negative 0.02 so turn that to zero um you could turn it for close and far but i really don't notice like a huge difference so yeah i would just uh, keep it at zero next up is the stock the fjx lux 7 so obviously we built this gun for ads time but this stock only helps with aiming stability aim walking speed and sprint speed however if you go into tuning you can actually tune it for sprint to fire speed and ads time so that's what i did negative 2.97 for sprint to fire speed and negative 2.40 for ads speed last and final attachment again we're going with fast ads the skull dash 40 is going to be the best option for it for sprint to fire speed and ads time and tuning for that negative 0.77 for ads speed and negative 0.39 for sprint to fire speed and that right there is the best fjx imperium class setup that you should be using for season three let's go over the next weapon so with the season three update the m13b actually received a pretty significant buff so we're going to be going over the best m13b class setup for the barrel you want to use the 14 inch bruin echelon barrel for the damage range bull velocity hit fire accuracy and recoil control just really going to give us the recoil control benefits and really just give it more damage range and bullet velocity tuning for that plus 0.30 for damage range and plus 0.31 for recoil steadiness next up i did test out a few different attachments i just ultimately went with the laser the vlk lzr7 mw laser for the ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed tuning for that negative 0.27 for sprint to fire speed and negative 19.74 for ads speed next up for the stock i went with the ravage 10 stock for the crouch movement speed sprint speed and aim down sight speed i was ultimately going to go with the bruin flash v4 stock but it just affects aiming spilling recoil control a little bit too much i just feel like you could throw this stock on and just tune it how you want to and i think you'll be just fine turning for that negative 1.55 for ads speed and negative 1.01 for aim walking speed for the rear grip we went with the bruin flash grip for the sprint of fire speed and ads time really it's going to make this gun feel so much faster you're going to move around the map insanely fast even with having that extended barrel on turning for that negative 0.58 for ads speed and negative 0.26 for sprint to fire speed last and final attachment really is up to you if you don't want an under barrel if you think the gun's a little bit too slow i would put on the 45 round mag if you need more ammo or just throw on another attachment but i just ultimately went with the under barrel the f tac river 56 for the aiming idle stability hit fire accuracy and recoil stabilization and of course tuning for that plus 0.62 for recoil stabilization and plus 0.31 for aiming idle stability that right there is the best m13b class setup you should be using for season three let's go over the next gun next up we're going over the iso hemlock remember when why are you going over this gun this gun got significantly nerfed in season three well surprise surprise it's still one of the best assault rifles in the game so definitely keep using the iso hemlock try this class setup and you'll be frying lobbies first attachment lr-30 56 barrel for the damage range hit fire accuracy and bullet velocity i think it's just the same as this fielder one if you tune it it'll literally be the exact same so i just withdraw on this one and you can get a little bit of like just better ads time and hip recoil control Turning for that plus 0.35 for recoil steadiness and plus 0.25 
121 for damage range. Next up, I went with an optic for this weapon. It is just personal preference. You don't really need to go with an optic. If you like the iron sights, you know, definitely roll with another attachment like a laser or something. But Chrono Mini Pro is what I went with for the optic. And tuning for that, negative 1.74 for ADS speed and negative 0.73 for the far on the optic. You could just leave this at zero or tune it how you want to. This really doesn't affect the gun too much. So yeah, just do what you want there. Next up, to make this gun feel a little bit light and just, you know, more mobile, uh, especially on small to medium range maps, the Arcom S4 is going to be the best stock for it. For the sprint speed, a mock and speed, a crouch movement speed, and ADS time. Tuning for that, negative 1.55 for ADS speed and negative 1.32 for aim walk and speed. And to make this gun feel even lighter, we are going with the Phantom Grip. It's going to help with our sprint to fire speed and ADS time. Just make this gun feel super light. This gun is pretty sluggish and pretty heavy, so having this on is going to make this gun feel super light on those small to medium maps. Tuning for that, negative 0.48 for ADS speed and negative 0.25 for sprint to fire speed. Last and final attachment, I do think that you do need a recoil control attachment or to just help with the recoil. So I went with the FTAC Gerber 56 for the aiming idle stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Try this out or a muzzle. I just think the FTAC Gripper is the best under barrel option for most weapons. So that's why I went with it. And tuning for that plus 0.41 for recoil stabilization and plus 0.26 for aiming idle stability. That right there is the best ISO hemlock class setup for season three. Let's go over the next weapon. Next up, we are going with the Bass P. The Bass P actually received a crazy buff for season three. So it's definitely an SMG that you should be trying out if you don't have it unlocked or leveled up. Definitely do it. But for the barrel, we are going with a 10.5 inch Bruin Typhoon barrel for the sound suppression, hip fire accuracy, bolt velocity, and damage range. I ultimately was trying this 12 inch one here, but it just made the gun super slow and made it feel more like an assault rifle. So I just went with this one and just tuned it to my liking. Trading for this plus 0.23 for recoil stabilization and plus 0.30 for damage range. Next up, I did go with the laser, the VLK LZR7 MW laser. Again, this was nerfed for the season three update. However, you're going to be really fast with this gun. You're not going to be holding on your aim down sight speed or your ADS too much. So go with this and your ADS time is going to be super nice. Turning for that negative 0.24 for sprint to fire speed and negative 24.68 for aim down sight speed. Next up for the stock, I did go with the Bruin Flash V4 stock. It's going to give us the most amount of sprint to fire speed and aim, aim walking speed and ADS time for this weapon. It's going to be a super nice stock. I've only ever used this stock for the Bass P and it's been just a nice attachment for this weapon. And then tuning for that negative 2.58 for aim, aim down sight speed and negative 1.08 for aim walking speed. Next up, I did go with the Bruin Flash Grip for the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. It's going to make this gun feel a lot lighter. We are using a extended mag on this weapon, as you guys can see. So it's going to make this gun a little bit slower. And of course, the barrel makes this gun slower too. Tuning for that negative 0.74 for aim down sight speed and negative 0.28 for sprint to fire speed. Last and final attachment, like I said before, we did go with the 50 round drum. I just think the 50 round mag is going to just help with this weapon. It does have a pretty fast fire rate. 30 rounds might be okay on like smaller maps or just, you know, whatever kind of maps. But I just think 50 round drum is just going to be helpful for this gun. You're not going to be burning through ammo as much. And that right there is the full Bass P class setup that you should be using for season three. Let's go over the last and final weapon. Last weapon, I ultimately decided to go with the MP7 or the Vel 46 because it actually got buffed for the season three update as well. For the barrel, there's a quite a lot of just barrel options. I've only ever used the first couple here. I've never really tried out these ones just because they help with the ADS time. And really, it's just nice to have the damage range for the Vel 46 because the thing has a decent amount of recoil. So uh, for the barrel, we did go with the Tango 228 barrel for the damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. Training for that, plus 0.35 for recoil steadiness and plus 0.18 for damage range. Next up, we did go with the laser, the VLK LZR7 MW laser. If you've seen the cl other class setups in this video, you know that this is a very popular attachment. It's still a great attachment, even though they actually nerfed it where you can see the laser a lot better. For the eight, we obviously used it for the ADS time, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. And tuning for that, negative 0.29 for sprint to fire speed and negative 23.03 for aim down sight speed. Next up, we did go with the stock, the demo RXC stock for the crouch movement speed, at sprint speed, and ADS time. Tuning for that, negative 1.55 for ADS speed and negative 1.08 for aim walking speed. Next, we did go with the rear grip, the Schlager soldier grip for the sprint to fire speed and ADS time. The reason why we're throwing on all these like ADS time attachments that affect recoil is because we do have the bear. We also have an underbarrel for it as well. So really, that's going to slow down the gun and just make the ADS time a little bit slower. So having this attachment is going to be helpful for that. Trading for that, negative 1.00 for the ADS time and negative 0.45 for the sprint and fire speed. I basically think, I think we just maxed those out. Yeah, we just maxed those out for the uh, the, the rear grip. Last and final attachment, we did go with the phase three grip for the aiming idle stability, hit fire accuracy and recoil stabilization. This gun has a decent amount of recoil, so it is going to be helpful to have this underbarrel just to help with that recoil, obviously. And of course, tuning for that, we again, max this one out as 
as well. Plus 0.80 for recoil stabilization and plus 0.40 for aiming auto stability. Now right there is the full Vel 46 class setup for season three that you should be using for Modern Warfare 2 season three. And that's all five class setups. Let me know what your favorite is down below. Try these class setups in game and I'm telling you, you're going to be frying for season three. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Take care, everybody.